Chelsea đã chiến thắng Manchester City trong một trận đấu kịch tính và nhiều cảm xúc. Hiệp 1 là hiệp đấu của Man City khi họ dành phần lớn thời gian kiểm soát bóng và thành quả mà họ có được là dẫn trước 1-0 trong hiệp 1. Bí kịch với Man City xảy đến khi cuối hiệp 1 họ được hưởng một quả phạt đền. Nhưng Sergio Aguero lại trở thành trò hề khi quả sút Panenka của anh bị Ivoas Mendy bắt bài một cách dễ dàng. Đây cũng chính là bước ngoặt của trận đấu bởi sau gần nghỉ, Tuchel đã có một cuộc nói chuyện với các cầu thủ Chelsea và thế trận hoàn toàn đảo chiều. Man City từ vị thế thống trị đã trở thành kẻ bị thống trị. Họ có màn nội lực dòng tuyệt tính trước đối thủ sừng sỏ nhất tại Premier League và đối thủ của họ trong trận chung kết Champions League sắp tới vào ngày 29 tháng 5 tại Istanbul, Thổ Nhĩ Kỳ. Khi của Tuchel đã khiến Man City của Pep Guardiola ôm mặt đến hai lần. Chúng ta hãy lắng nghe màn phỏng vấn của huấn luyện viên Thomas Tuchel của Chelsea sau trận đấu. Từ đó ta có thể biết được lý do tại sao Chelsea lại có chiến thắng ấn tượng trước Manchester City. A dramatic end. What are your reflections on the game that brings you three valuable points in terms of Champions League places? Yeah, what a performance in second half. Just a more or less an equal first half. In the last five minutes, we almost had to give it away completely. If uh, they scored a penalty, maybe it's over before it really starts. Uh, and then you go to half time, maybe in a 2-0, and you have no chance to come back. But. Uh, was very hard because we were one zero down, had one injured player, so I'm absolutely impressed by the reaction and uh, by the performance in second half. I think we even deserve to win the second half. Of course, you need uh, if you wanna if you wanna steal all three points here at the Etihad in this situation after being one nil down, you need a bit of luck, you need a bit of momentum in, in decisions from refereeing. It's like this, but we had many many half chances, many chances here in second half and. Uh, big, big congratulations to the team for the second half. What did you do better in the second half? I think uh, better, more control, more control. We got more and more confident and the goal helped us helped us a lot because that was like, ah, we, we, we really have the opener now and, and we gained the rest of our confidence and suddenly we, we, we could even play more physical, we could uh, recover the balls higher. But it was a, it was a battle, and it was a physical battle, and and we never stepped back, and we never gave up, and in, in the opposite, we increased our motivation, and uh, was not a bad match in first half. It was like a, for me a total zero zero, uh, but like I said, it can change in any second, and 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 for that, with the knowledge of that, it's, it's even more impressive. I'm absolutely delighted by the performance second half. Timo Werner has tremendous pace. Does he just need to have, add a little bit of patience? Yeah, but it's uh, easier said than done because he was he was working like like a dog. I'm not sure if we can say this, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you can. He was really, really, really working hard up, up front, and uh, this was so important. And he gave them a hard time with all his runs. So once he had chances, he he had them pretty exhausted. So so no complaints today. You said that today's game will have no bearing whatsoever on the Champions League final. The fact you've now beaten them twice in a row, does that give you something? Sure, it gives us confidence because it's all about performance and confidence. We know very well, and I said this before and I will repeat it, this result will, will not change, that the final is a very unique game and, uh, and, and you cannot predict what will happen, so you need to be well prepared and, and we will have some changes again and they will have some changes again, but we arrive with the knowledge that we are capable of beating them. This is, this is what we have now and uh, this will not change until Istanbul. Unfortunately, one negative moment for the day, Andreas Christensen. How bad is that injury and how does that look? Well, I hope, I hope, I hope that it's not too bad and that, we can, uh, that he can recover for the next days, but I'm, I'm not sure. This would, be, yeah, this would be absolutely bittersweet if it's uh, uh, a longer injury. Fingers crossed. Thanks Thank very much, you very indeed. much.